Hi folks, welcome. Time for another outdoor cooking. Today it's soup on the menu and it's suitable for autumn and winter. And welcome to Red Sweet Outdoors. Uh, we reached September and passed through a fair bit of it. In fact, we're just two days short of equinox. So soon the days will be shorter than the nights. And for now, it's still warm. Uh, this hadn't put a, a summer day to shame and uh, we still have lots of the summer's flower. But at the same time, I can see the leaves are turning and uh, the morning and the evenings, they are not summer temperature anymore. So we are heading for fall and winter. And I thought I would make a soup that's both warming and filling. And uh, for the purpose of that, I today brought my old army mess kit. And uh, in that I'm going to do a lentil soup. So let's start preparing. Lentil soup is on the menu, so let's start by chopping up an onion. Like so. And uh, this soup I made a, for a little less servings, so I will manage with just half an onion today. But this one, this will go for the crows. even the three second rule when you're supposed to heat it. Any bacteria I can achieve of that, <laughs> they will be off by the heat. And the carrot. That part looked a bit boring. And with that done, it's time to set up the kitchen. And today I'm doing things a bit different because uh, I brought the civilian Trangia burner today just because I will boil this soup for a long time and there's no need to have it going on a rolling boil for 20 minutes so I need the simmering 
and the military burner doesn't have that feature. So, hence the civilian. And I said 20 minutes and I'm not sure that even the heat full in this one will last for 20 minutes. But at least we start in that end. And I always have a pack of mattress in a, an old film canister in this kitchen. So. We are on a roll. Let's remove all the stuff. And put down the kettle. And we will start off with a large portion of oil and I want the onion and the carrots to get really really soft so let's put that in out some more things. I want to use lentils, garlic, lime, spices, and more spices, and we drop that back there. And here I've done a mix of chili flakes. and uh, cumin and a heap full of that okay, let's mix that up a bit and while that is getting ready I will use some old tomatoes wasn't the nicest bunch but I'm gonna dice them up anyway and I really only needed one so I reckon two good halves equal one good hole and that's all the food for the crows Grab the other half good one. Yeah. More for the crows. Well, I guess here on the west coast, uh, chances are that the seagulls will beat the crow to it. Are we getting anywhere? It's starting to look good. Oh yeah. I think we are getting there. So Two cloves of garlic. 
and I will just peel them and squeeze them. Because they will enjoy in the fray for such a long time, so it doesn't matter if they're still in one piece and you eat it because they will have contributed with their taste a long time ago. So we'll just squash them with the blade. Like so. And I think we are ready to add these goodness. We will start with salt. Black pepper. And lots of curry. Last but not least, a cube of chicken bouillon. So now it's time to add water. Something like that. And about half a cup of green lentils. And I picked them through at home. And once this reaches a boil, I will put on the simmering to just keep it going. It's starting to reach a boil, so let's add the simmering and put the timer for 20 minutes. Now the lentil should be softer but not falling apart. Yes. Let's add the last ingredient. A lime. No surprise there.
Yes. Ooh, and spicy. Nice, nice. Well, let's move this from the flame. Hell yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should have took a little bit more curry. Um, it's still there. Um, but it's good anyway. Mm. I'll be with you in a second. That's it. Well, my goal was to make a soup that was both warming and filling. And that's two out of two uh, because it was spicy. Uh, I added a whole lot of chili flakes because I like it. Um, if you're not that much into chili flakes, you can always leave them out. And filling, yeah. Um, I finished half of it. And uh, I'm not shy when it comes to food. Um, there's no real bottom in this stomach. But um, I have to bring the rest home. Um, if I had known this, I wouldn't have gotten any breakfast tomorrow, this morning. And probably not a dinner last night either. Uh, and I was a bit unsure in the beginning if. Uh, my tranquil burner would be good enough for uh, 20 minutes and then some. And as it turns out, yes, um, there's quite a lot in, in it still. Um, I think this would suffice to do more than just coffee. So uh, I'm glad I have this rubber ceiling so I can keep it in the burner till the next time I'm out. Uh, I'm not very sure if um, the military Trangia would have been up to the task since it hasn't got a simmering. Uh, it keeps down the spirit usage quite a lot and uh, as I said for 20 minutes you don't need a rolling boil. It's still really beautiful outside. Uh, I enjoy summer very much. But now comes the part of fall that uh, I think is the most beautiful. Uh, when all the varieties of green give way for other colors. Red, yellow, orange, brown, you name it. So uh, there's colors in abundance. And as you perhaps notice, uh, I'm in English Banner. This is a popular place. <laughs> among everyone. People are walking the dogs, going by uh, mountain bikes and the lot. Joggers, senior citizens doing Nordic walking. Uh, I'm uh, happy this place is right in the middle of the town. It's just a stone throw from work and maybe two stone throws from home. So it's easy access for me. Uh, I really enjoy it. Well, I guess that's it for this time. Uh, thank you for joining me on this outing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as usual, you find the recipe in the description. And uh, I have no clue what kind of shenanigans I will be up to the next time. But if you're a subscriber, you will get a notice when I'm out. So, until the next time, take care and I'll see you then. Cheers. <laughs>